Hello everybody, I'm purely situated out of Love's Truck Stop in Williams, Arizona. Um, I'm gonna put the truck in a neutral here. Alrighty. I had to take care of a problem here. I have three hours left of driving. Um, there is a note of laws about an hour and 28 minutes away from me, so I want to continue my journey, but I had to stop here. Um, I was feeling very well, um, so I decided to stop and take a shower that typically does the trick, and it seems to be working for now. Um, we're just gonna wait and see where we're what well, happens regardless it's now we're 28 minutes i can very well do that um i am still on the load head to california right now uh, i know some people are wondering why is this not delivered yet um this would have been delivered i believe today if i'm not mistaken um yeah it would have been delivered today and the reason why I have not delivered this is I went through New Mexico. And New Mexico had a bad... Yeah, you're just going to roll that stop sign. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Wow. If I freaking did that, I would have got a freaking butcher from my company. Because I have a dash cam. Holy moly moly that's bright I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see or not yeah you guys can't see anything let me lower down my chair I have sunglasses on I just have to deal with it here but anyways so the reason why Okay, I lost track of what I was doing because this sun is ridiculously bright. Um, so, I went through New Mexico and New Mexico had a very big storm. Come on, dude. Are you kidding me? What is wrong with people tonight? Get your ass over, you fucking asshole. Really? God, that's just how my day has been so far. I can't even finish this freaking sentence. So, New Mexico had a snowstorm. And the way my company handles that, or seriously handles that, is they will shut us down. If we do not follow by that shutdown order, we will probably be looking for different jobs or worse and I would mean the worst would probably be end up in a ditch or in an accident um, typically when they send those out they do not play around um, it is a very very big problem um, you know and it's legit so Needless to say, I spent about 24 hours there. Um, I was able to leave, I would say, about 8 o'clock this morning. Um, I am pretty tired. It's been an interesting day. Um, the storm or the road conditions were not better by the time I got back on the truck or back on the road anyways. Um, it was like horrible like I was not doing faster than like 55 miles per hour but there was like trucks just sitting there bunched up I saw a couple axes on the side of the road probably from the night before um but you know when I see trucks you know bunched up you know when it's icy and stuff like that I typically try to get away from that, either to get by it or to stay behind because that's just a, you know, catastrophe waiting to happen, you know, and I mean, 
they're really, really bunched up, like four or five trucks. I mean, this is like an old style, like convoy, as you will. Holy shit, the sun is bright. It's so hard to see. You guys probably can't see crap either. I do apologize. That's can't help it, unfortunately. Uh, I was originally driving that night, but of course, you know, all that changed. Um, so, what was I saying here? So, oh yeah, the truck's bunched up like an old style convoy. So, the, like, they were like six or seven trucks, um, and they were like following too closely, um, way closer than anybody should, um, in a weather like this, so. I've driven in snow before, um, I live up north, so it's not something that, you know, I'm foreign of, you know, I know how to handle it, um, and I know when to slow down, I know how to, you know, drive pretty much, you know, I know what is the best decision when it comes to driving in weather like that. Also, do at the top of all this, I wish the sun would go away, it's just so annoying. So, now on the top of this, there was fog, I would say less than a mile long. It was very, very thick. You could barely see anything through it. That's when I really slowed down. I slowed down to about 40, 45 miles per hour. Um, and fog, you want to go slow, but you don't want to go slow enough to where somebody's gonna rear into you, you know, they're flying down here, don't give two crowds about the fog or the weather or whatnot. Someone will legitimately hit you if you're doing 45 miles per hour because they're not gonna see you and react enough time to be able to do anything. They're just gonna go boom. And most of the time, this would not be a truck. This would be a four-wheeler. I mean, if a freaking four-wheeler hits a truck, they're pretty much toast. You know, their car's totaled, you know, possibly injured. It's not good for them. Um, that is, like, unfortunately one thing that, you know, happens a lot, but... You know, I have no person to deal with. I've never gotten in an accident here. I've gotten close. I've gotten some pretty close calls, but, you know, when it comes to, you know, being in some, like, accidents, I, I've not been a part of that. Um, other than, of course, hitting the freaking dumpster. But, hey, it, it was dark. I couldn't see it. Things happen like that. But, anyway, so I was talking about the fog, so you want to go slow so you have time to react, but yet you want to be able to go at reasonable speed to where you're not going to get rear-ended. Um, that's the most I ever hear about, a, you know, people driving in fog. Uh, that's the most dangerous thing is somebody driving too fast and rear-ending somebody. Alright guys, well, this video is going to be crappy because of the sun. You guys probably can't see very much of anything right now, but this was a nice conversation to let you guys know what has been going on so far. Um, also, before we end things here, I am doing some major changes to the channel. Um, I'm trying to figure out something that will mix between both trucking and gaming of course gaming has not been happening very lately but i'm hoping to change that here pretty soon i'm supposed to be going home on the 13th but i highly doubt i'll be able to make that um i don't have another load um until well i don't have enough another load yet and that probably won't happen until tomorrow and 
I have to, you know, of course, deliver this load tomorrow, so that's a lot of my time. Um, I mean, the last thing I saw um, before I put in the, the coordinates for the new truck stop that I'm going to, um, well, it's not new, but new to me, um, But last time I checked, I was about eight hours and 30 minutes away. So, ain't too bad, but you know, you know, say about Monday, you know, I got two days to get home after that. Um, I've never seen any messages unless it's hidden until I had to deliver this load. I hope. I hope they get me home on time, but, you know, they were kind enough and generous enough to give me this solo position that I have right now. Um, if I haven't talked about this, I really hope I have, but I am on a solo position with CRST. Um, this is something that I can't really disclose any information about what's going on, but... I am doing a solo position, so those will come, those will go. Uh, we just have to wait and see what happens. This is a team company, so I don't know. I'm just very, very thankful to have this position, and I'm going to do what it takes. I've been running pretty hard up down to about one hour or so. Um, I typically don't run down to zero. Um, I'm running solo because I always leave that hour for a safe haven because you're never going to know if you're going to come across, you know, a truck stop that is full that you want to stop at or whatever. You have that hour to hopefully be able to find something different. So that was why I leave that hour in just in case. Um, and for brakes wise, I don't stop. Um, I only stop, um, as soon as I start driving, I only stop for my brakes. That is it. Um, of course, there's only one brake, which is a 30 minute brake. Um, and I typically run down until about two hours or something like that, um, because that's typically when, you know, I'm currently getting like, I'm not like pushing myself, but I'm getting like, it's getting tiring, so, or, you know, I'm getting hungry or so like that, so I'll stop about at the two hour mark and grab something to eat, sit here for 30 minutes and get back on the road. Um, so that's how things have been going so far. Um, that is my condition for being on this position is you'd be working hard and doing a good job. Um, you know, I do plan on getting all my loads um, delivered on time after this. Um, this load was screwed beyond fixable, uh, unless they rescheduled it, but, you know, I don't, you know, obviously, I don't think they have complaints, so I don't think it's too major important, I would say, but, you know, of course, it is important, but, you know, they're being a little bit lenient of when it can be there, um, which is very, very nice. This is an XBO logistics load, if you guys don't know. I don't know what XBO logistics do. Um, it seems like they're, they might use something similar, like FedEx, but no. Um, this is more like a pallet um, type um, settings here. Um, I need to be careful on brakes. I'm sorry to smell some burning here. Ugh. This guy would get out of my freaking way. Woo! Damn! <laughs> Good on the fucking thing, clients. Jeez. I'm gonna pull over and let my brakes cool down. Holy moly. 
<coughs> oh my god, I hate that smell. I'm not seeing any smoking, but wow. Ugh, that was a bad idea. <sighs> I definitely may need to pull over a while. That looks like this would be an old truck stop there. Not anymore, but. <sighs> oh my god. It was because of this guy in front of me that decided he didn't want to go on the downhill and all would end up from there. Of course I was doing 70 miles per hour. Um, that's not the truck regularly speed, it's 67 for this truck. Wow well, guys, I said I was going to end things and five minutes later I'm still going on. So, um, I think I'm going to be wrapping things up here now. Um, you know, I know there hasn't been very much videos out there for this load, but it's been a lot of boring, you know, just sitting around, pretty much doing nothing, driving. Um, I did some back roads driving, um, U.S. driving, I would say, um, the U.S. highways, but that was pretty much it. Um, I do plan on getting here and doing some more videos. Of course, I'm going to be doing the drop-off and stuff like that. So we just have to wait and see what happens. Um, also, I want to show you guys what my truck looks like. It looks like a freaking tornado. <laughs> what happens when you have co-drivers? Oh my god, my brakes smell so bad. I need to shut up and end this video. <laughs> god damn it. Alright guys, well, I'm going to wrap things up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.